Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. Now I have got a fabulous Pilates Yoga Fusion class just for you. This is really great for all levels. There's plenty of modifications um, to take it up a notch or down a notch to kind of figure out what works best for you today. Now we'll definitely be working on a little bit of balance, some nice uh, low body work. Glutes are gonna get some attention, some hamstrings too. And as always, our tummy muscles will definitely, will say hello to them as well. So roll out your mat and let's get started. Let's start standing um, near the back of our mat. Feet about hip distance, hands are heavy, head lifts high. Think of lifting out of the waist, drawing the belly button muscles in towards the back of the spine. Think about lifting out of the waist a little bit higher. Take a big inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, bend the knees, roll down. Find that easy forward fold, as deep or shallow as you so choose. And then press through the feet, lift the belly away from the thighs, roll yourself all the way up. Another breath, exhale, chin to chest, bend, roll down. And then pull yourself all the way up. Last one, chin to chest, bend the knees, roll down and pause. Look to the top of the mat and lightly crawl forward. We're not gonna stay in our plank very long, don't worry. But find your plank pose for a moment. Imagine you're still standing tall on your mat. Tone your inner thighs towards one another, lift the belly button up and in, take a breath. Set the knees down, find a tabletop. Here in our tabletop, let's begin to cat and cow. Just be nice to your spine. Going as fast or slow as whatever feels good for you. And then eventually come back to center. Lift almost up and away from the mat from your wrist. Part the shoulders, cinch the belly. Imagine my hand is just right in front of your tummy, lightly supporting those belly muscles in so we do not arch our back and have a Beyonce booty moment. Lift the tummy muscles. Extend your right foot out behind you. Now, as you lifted the foot, did you dump? I hope not. My hand is still supporting your tummy. Keep it up. Point the toe or flex or soften, whatever feels best for you, but turn on the place where your thigh and your glute connect. Take a great, big, full inhale. Give me five tiny circles of our lifted leg. Around five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one one pause last time reverse five four three two one hold right there i am pulling your foot away from your body you are reaching your head further forward inhale tap your foot to the ground exhale squeeze your thought as you lift inhale tap your foot to the ground exhale don't let your back arch or bend keep it totally still Last one, drop the foot down, lift, pause. Now this time, tap your foot off the mat to the right, exhale, bring it behind you. Tap it off to the left, exhale, bring it behind you. Whenever the leg goes off to the left, what happens in the weighted, uh, weighted portion of your hands? Do you kind of sway side to side? Can you keep it so even, so steady? Last one, send the foot off to the side, pull it back, pause, take a big breath, set the knee down. Send your opposite foot out and away, broaden, belly button in, remember my hand is holding there, pulling those tummy muscles up. You're reaching long from the tip of your head through your body, out your toe. Give the place where your thigh and your glute connect your thut, thigh butt, a little extra squeeze, tiny circles, five, four, three, two, one, pause, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pause, again, five, four, three, two, one, pause, last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, 
hold. Now from here again, inhale, tap the foot down, exhale, cinch the waist as you lift. Every time you lift the foot up, almost think of lifting your chest up in a way, taking more weight out of the hands, broaden across the chest, two more down and up. Last one, lift, pause. And then from here, we're gonna tap our toe to the left, exhale, swim it behind us. Notice what happens to the hips. We are not hula dancing here, so don't let those hips sway side to side. How still can you keep your body? Beautiful job. Two more down, exhale, lift. Last one down, exhale, lift, pause, take a big breath, set the knee down, swivel, shake. Send yourself back into a child's pose. Reach your hands a little further forward and tent the fingertips. Crawl the fingers a little bit further away. Send your hips so close to your heels and then crawl your little tented fingertips over to the right side of the mat. Think about pressing your left hip back and fanning open your left ribs. Crawl your fingers to the opposite side. And then it's your right hip, that opposite hip presses down. Fan open the right ribs, return center. Palms down, unfold into a downward facing dog. Now I want you to deeply bend your knees and point your sitting bones up to the sky. Keep the knees so bent, so straight, hug the inner arms together, slide the shoulders down the back so your neck is so long, take a big inhale. Exhale, press your right heel closer to the ground. It might not straighten all the way, that's okay. Then re-bend both knees. Straighten the left heel closer to the ground. Re-bend both knees. Go ahead and go back and forth at your own pace. No hurry, no rush. Last one, look to the top of the mat, crawl your, hand, uh, your feet towards your hands, bend the knees a little bit and slowly roll yourself all the way up to standing. Belly button in, head nice and high, swim your hands all the way up to the sky, reaching, reaching, reaching. It's like you're a little kid and you're hanging from a monkey bar. Your spine is so long and stretched out and then drop the hands down. Bring your feet to touch. Toes touch, little space between the heel, zip up the inner thighs. Lift out of the waist a little higher. Sit back in a chair pose. Reach your sitting bones towards the back edge of the mat and pull the belly button up and in. Think about um, fingertips going further away. And then from here, hands can stay here. We can then bring them to their heart, or we could take them off to the side. Whatever is going to help us balance a little bit better is absolutely fine with you. I like hands to heart center because I can activate my upper body and make sure my shoulders stay nice and open by pressing the palms together. Lift up your right heel, get a little stretch to the bottom of the right foot, set it down. Lift up the left heel, set it down. Lift up the right heel, pause, press deeper into your left foot, stand tall on the right, picking it up. Ideally, we want our knee in line with our hip. If it's a little lower, that's okay though. From here, flex the foot, inhale, drive the heel towards the mat, exhale, pick up the knee, pulling the belly button in as you do. Inhale, send it down, exhale, lift it up. Two more, down, pick it right back up, Last one down, pause. Stand taller and straighter through your left side. It's like I'm holding your left ear, lifting it up to the sky. And then from here, all I want us to do is slide our foot over to the right. Exhale, use your inner thigh, pull it back. And remember, when we do balance work, it's okay if you fall over. Just smile, that's part of life. We all fall down, we all get up, totally fine. Know that I fall down probably way more often than you ever will, so you have nothing to fear. Last one, take the leg back in front of you, pause. Lift out of the waist, press the hands higher together. Inhale, both hands lift nice and high. Once more, it's that kind of hanging feeling. Exhale, let it go. Feet back together, sit back into your chair pose, belly button up and in. Hands to heart center or wherever you want. Lift your left heel, set it down. Lift your right heel, set it down. Lift your left heel, pause, belly button in. Stomp into the right foot, pick up the left. Now again, wiggle wobble a little bit if you need to. No problem whatsoever. Maybe grab a chair or a wall. You can always use something to help stabilize you. That's totally fine. Flex the foot. 
What I do want you to focus on is me holding your ears, pulling them up. Do you see I just made more space in my own body? We can all listen to my cues, including me. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, pull the knee back. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, pull the knee back. Two more down, tone the tummy as you lift. Last one down, lift it up. Now extend it out, pause, flex the foot deeper, reach the heel further away, lift out of the waist a little higher. Both hands reach high. It's that big, lovely, beautiful stretch. And drop it down. Both hands swim up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, find your plank pose once more. Broaden across the chest, tone the tummy, take a big breath. Let's lower down to our tummy on a count of five, four, three, two, one. And if you plop down, that's okay. Or if you set a knee down, that's okay too. What I want us to do now is pubic bone presses into the earth so we can activate our glutes, our hamstrings. Squeeze your thut, your thigh butt connection point, as hard as you can so you can hold a pencil there. Pull your elbows towards one another and point them back behind you. Reach your feet a little bit further away. Inhale, little baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, little baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Only lift so high up that we keep our pubic bone down, our belly button in. Set everything down. And then go ahead, tip back into your child's pose. Knees together or apart. And then find your downward facing dog. Hips lift high, spine so long. Take a big breath, big sigh out. Lift your right foot up just enough that we can pull it forward and step into a little um, tiny lunge. Nothing too big or crazy. Sink into that lunge for a minute. Take a little movement if we want to. And then as you feel ready, I want you to press down into both of your feet, squeeze your inner thighs together and see if we can rise up and send our fingertips up nice and high. Now, if that was a little challenging for us, that's okay. No big deal. Spiral your inner or pinkies towards one another. Lift out of the waist a little higher. It's that dangling feeling once more. Big deep breath in. Big sigh out. Maybe bend your front knee a little bit more if that feels good. Tone the tummy muscles. Take a full, deep inhale. Return to your plank pose. Big breath. Lower down on a count of five, four, three, two, one. Three rounds of baby cobra on your own breath. Now remember, when we do any kind of cobra, swan, locust pose, we don't want to crane our neck and look up. Your neck is part of your spine. So I barely move my head at all. Instead, I'm really thinking about my chest lifting. Press back into your child's pose. Unfold into your downward dog. Lift the left leg up just enough that we can step it forward into our starting lunge. Enjoy that lunge. Wiggle sway if you want to. And then again, we're gonna activate our inner thighs. Think about pulling the inner thighs together. Think about lifting your belly button away from your thigh and then hover, send your hands all the way up in our great big beautiful high crescent lunge. Ooh, and if we fall over, that's okay. Like I was talking about, we all fall down sometimes and you lose your balance now and then. No biggie. Fingertips lift high, belly button up and in. Enjoy this lovely, big, beautiful stretch. Maybe we rebend our leg a little bit. What feels different on this side? What do you need to focus on? Both sides are not going to be even, and that's perfectly fine. Take a breath. Return to your plank pose. Another big inhale. This time, just come to your downward dog. Look to the top of the mat and travel forward, walking the feet in. Find your easy forward fold. Roll yourself up to standing. Once more, let's heel toe our feet to touch. Inner thighs press towards one another like you're squeezing a piece of paper between your inner thighs. Sit back in your chair pose. Now, once more, find that nice long low back. Reach the sitting bones down, 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 down. Lift out of the waist as you do. Hands can stay lifted. They can come out to that T or once more, we can bring them to our heart. Pick up your right heel. 
set it down, pick up the left heel, set it down, pick up the right, pause, press into the left foot, lift high onto the right, flex and straighten the leg. Once more, rise out of your lifted uh, leg, your nice long uh, left side. Ooh, that was hard for me to say. Take a big breath and pause. Easy sigh out. Now something a little different here. I want you to reach your hands up, pick up your knee, and then all we're gonna do is step our foot back and find that lunge once more. Ah, different kind of transition. Lift, lift, lift. For me, when I kind of step back into it, I find I get just a little bit more open space in the back of my leg there, or in the front of my hip and the back of my leg. Take a big inhale, big sigh out. And then from here, all we have to do is hop forward. And if you wanna bring your hands to your hips or take them off to the side, that's okay. But take a breath and then hop the feet back together. Sink back into your chair pose. Belly button up and in. Hands to heart. Left heel lifts. Drop it down. Right heel lifts. Drop it down. Left up and pause. Press down into the right leg. Lift the left high. Stand tall through the right side of your body like I am holding your right ear and pulling you up. Straighten and flex the leg. And then like we did on the other side, we're going to pick up our arms, swimming them over our head, lift our knee high, and then step back into our great big crescent lunge. For me, the more I press my left heel closer towards the mat and think about almost pressing my front of my left hip forward, the bigger of a stretch I feel right there. Belly button is still in, ribs are still together, I am still dangling kind of holding up on something high and just letting myself dangle. Take a big deep breath, hands to hips or wherever you want them, and then a big hop back together. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Lower down, bend the knees. Come to a little seat on the mat. And if we plop down, that's okay. Before we lie ourselves back, let's open up our chest a little bit with a reverse tabletop. The direction your fingers point is kind of up to you. I like them pointing towards my sitting bones. I lightly lean back and lift out of my waist before I go anywhere. Stomp evenly into both feet. Turn on your inner thighs, hugging them towards one another, almost like there's a ball between your inner thighs. And then big inhale to prepare. Exhale, push up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, push up. One more, lower down. Exhale, push up, pause, squeeze the thut, broaden across the chest, take a big breath. Drop your hips down. Send your feet out in front of you, about hip distance apart, or I'm sorry, about mat distance apart. Take your hands out and then hug them towards one another. If you need a soft bend in your knees here, that's okay. But otherwise, I want you to tip your pelvis back slowly 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 roll down hugging an imaginary very heavy present give that heavy present a really big squeeze when it gets to the hard part and then eventually make your way all the way down onto the ground walk your feet in lightly press the small of your back into the mat imprinting the spine follow your spine up the up the back to the place between your shoulders broaden across the chest Let's take our hands behind our head, opening our elbows nice and wide. Just enjoy that nice, lovely, supported feeling the mat can give us at first, both for our spine and for our chest. Lightly press down into the heels a little bit, activating the back of the hamstrings. Don't forget about that feeling of a ball between your inner thighs, giving it a little hug, a little squeeze, turning those inner thigh muscles on. And then without letting your low back arch, so without letting your low back lift away from the mat, take a big breath. As you exhale, fold from the sternum, curl the head and chest up. So I think about someone chopping me at my sternum, I press my tummy down into the mat and I fold up and away. I'm looking over the knees. If this is too much, you can do this next little section with your head on the ground, that's okay. But otherwise, take a big inhale. Exhale, pick up your right leg. Inhale, set the right leg down. Exhale, pick up the left leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, pick up the right. Lower down. 
pick up the left. Lower down. Last one, pick up the right, pause. Flex the foot. From here, drive the foot away, exhale, tone the tummy, bring it back in. Drive the foot away, exhale, tone the tummy, bring it back in. Two more, reach it out, exhale, pull it right back in. Last one, reach it out, exhale, pull it right back in. Set the foot down. If you need to relax your head and chest, that's okay. If we can lift up our other leg, flex our foot, same thing other side. Inhale, straighten, exhale, pull. Inhale, straighten, exhale, pull. Two more, reach, exhale, return. Last one, reach, exhale, return. Take a big breath, set it down, lift half an inch higher, lower all the way down. Beautiful job. Reach your hands overhead. Feel your spine touch and imprint the mat behind you. Reach longer through your right arm. Reach longer through your left arm. And then let everything go. If there's any other movement that's calling to you, go ahead and take it. Maybe a sway of the knees. Maybe a happy baby or just stirring the knees and hips around, finding some mobility there in that ball and socket movement or joint. And then eventually, elongate the legs, find your resting pose. What does that look like for you today? Maybe take up a little more room on your mat than you normally do. Just let yourself recline. Give yourself permission to be still. Know that you are doing exactly what your body needs it to do. You are right where you should be. Full, big belly breath in. Easy sigh out. Again, great big breath in, expanding through the tummy. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. But as you feel ready to move on with your day, maybe touch each finger to your thumb. Maybe wiggle the toes. Find any movement that's calling to you. And then roll to one side. Push yourself up to a seat. As always, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class today and I cannot wait to see you again.